That's right, Angelo. This is the first stream of the year. Hope it's a good one. Well, let's hope this works well, because we are doing uh, simulation. Um, yeah, let's just get into this, because we don't know how this is going to go. So far, it looks like it's raining. Okay, so that's good. Walter's Woolly World. That's right. It's like... Classic mode. This mode is more uh, recommended for more experienced players. Mellow mode. This mode makes the game a little breezier and relaxed. I mean, we gotta go with mellow mode, right? I mean, come on. I don't know. Like this, the, the way this looks, it seems like classic mode is already gonna be pretty mellow. I figure we'll just do that. Kevin just joined us right now. Ready? You own the Woolly World Amiibo. Cool. Alright, so this is going to be important here. Let me look at what the controls are. Okay. Ugh. Right face button to jump. Bottom face button to spit. Yuck. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that we're simulating this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it not be that. Oh my gosh! Nintendo is just corrupting so many people with the. This is just getting out of hand. Um. Okay. Uh, let me let me change this real quick. Oh, there's a B style? Let me look first then. Okay, B to jump. Wow, ah, okay, there we go. I don't have to I don't have to simulate. They already know the truth. They're just trying to hide it away. <laughs> and then we have patient and hasty. If I remember correctly, patient is you tap to initiate the egg launch, the, the aiming, and then you tap a second time to shoot. Uh, hasty, you, you hold it to start aiming and then release to shoot. I, I've always preferred what they call patient. Um, we're gonna go ahead and that. Good. God damn it. I still keep pressing the bottom face button for okay, I can't help it. Nintendo themselves trained me this way with the Super Nintendo. I don't know why they went and flipped things upside down. Welcome to Craft Island, a tiny place in the ocean. Sorry, in the middle of the handmade ocean. Holy crap, how did I how did I skip so many words? Life here for the Yoshi clan is nothing but peaceful and le wait a second, those aren't Yoshis. Those are like Yarnies. From Yarnia. Should have played Freedom Planet too instead. Well, apparently, this was a very popular choice. Is that a steel guitar I hear? A lap steel guitar? Uh, rather, it had been nothing but peaceful and leisurely until. Kamek? W Wooly Kamek? Hello, Lil Yoshis. Sorry to drop in so suddenly, but I need to turn you all into yarn. <laughs> Thanks. You're They're already yarn. What are they talking about? Oh, I see. They're like... Kind of gruesome, actually. At this rate, I'll be here through lunch. Come on, I'm busy. Everybody becomes yarn. That's kind of disgusting. They, they, it's, it's essentially, Kamek has 
ripped them into pieces and captured them. Uh, there should be plenty. I'd better get back Toodles. There's still a couple of Yoshis hiding in there. I guess that's supposed to be two players. They're playing two player mode. It could be a Wooly Yoshi Mario. Yeah, this is the. Like how the Forgotten Lands was the Junji Ito Kirby game, this is the Junji Ito Yoshi game. They still have smiley faces, I don't see that shit. They're perfectly happy with being eviscerated. I've had it enough with you annoying Yoshi. Since I picked one player mode, they should have just had one Yoshi remain. There's still hope. As Kamek flies away, he drops a handful of yarn. A rather important Yoshi meeting is held. What do we do to save the others? We need to get that yarn back. Hurry, after that naughty trickster. Even if I had an, even if I was playing on the Wii U, I don't have any amiibos. Actually, that's not true. I have the, Lu the Luigi watch. Nintendo World Watch from when I went to Universal Studios in, uh, was it in Osaka? But, um, I don't know if that would do anything. Can we knit our friends back together? I hope so. Ah, Kevin. Kevin jumped right back onto my lap. Crap time. Darn Yoshi takes shape. I think he wants out again. Let me let the cat out real quick. I've noticed if I'm not able to give Kevin all his, the undivided attention, then he will just leave. So we can use D-pad or joystick. I like that they give us the option. Whoa, look at that. Turns into propeller feet. We're getting a, we're, yeah, we're getting some chugs here. Hopefully the game just needs to uh, warm up a bit, much like with uh, Liza P. Yes, it's the classic aim uh, egg style. Thank you. Sorry to all the uh, Yoshi Story fans out there, but I, I really prefer the Yoshi's Island style egg throwing. I like being able to ricochet and and all that jazz. I don't so much care for uh, the exploding eggs that don't even reach the other side of the screen. How do I mean what? Do you mean the style of egg throwing? In Yoshi's story, uh, the, you, you aim your eggs like a distance. Like it's not just, let me, let me get a, an egg. Another egg so I can explain a little better. Okay, so we have an egg here, right? Now I will initiate the throw. And so it aims like this. And where, whatever direction I throw, it will go until it hits a wall or it goes off screen, in which case it will then bounce uh, as such. It will ricochet, which is really fun. In Yoshi's story, you instead aim at a specific like distance away but it, it can't it can only go so far and then the egg just explodes when you throw it like see where my little crosshair is 
If I were to have thrown the egg in Yoshi's story, it would just explode where the crosshair is. I don't, I don't really uh, care for that style. Okay, I should have figured. <laughs> They're just kind of telling us the basic stuff. What the heck, Yoshi has a Sonic running animation. What about Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard and Devil's Third? I don't know anything about those. I've not played them. It's not the egg throwing that's different. No, it's both the egg throwing and the egg behavior, isn't it? Because I believe in Yoshi's story, you aim... Okay, in, in Yoshi's Island and this, it automatically is going up and down and you have to time it. I think in Yoshi's story, it's not automatically moving. You just you just decide where to put it, like you're moving a cursor on a screen. Oh, this is the only Wii U game that hasn't been ported to the Switch. I see. Sorry. In which you there were then giving other examples. I wonder what these hearts are. Is that the equivalent of uh, the stars on Yoshi's Island? Who needs a wall? Not me. Interesting, I wonder how we get to that guy. Putting hut! Oh my gosh, he like turns into a... Something. Wait. Can I not jump on these? What? Oh, I see. We, we're not filled in. Um... <clears throat> well, with Yoshi's, uh, island, you can run while you're aiming. You can do you can you can do all kinds of cool stuff. I'm actually very happy that this is the Yoshi's Island style. Oh my gosh! We had up all that yarn and make a you made a big boy. Huh? I wonder. There's something I'm, I I don't know yet about something. You just want to be able to move the angle. I don't know. I'm so used to, uh... To me, it's very satisfying timing the egg throw. That's like a big part of it. But you're like floating in midair and then you're like timing an egg throw. It's just it's very, uh... Oh wait, hang on, maybe here? There we go. Well, that leads to that anyway. Oh my gosh! We turned all those shy guys into hearts. Try to use a giant yarn ball to move a wall? Oh, hang on, I, I just, I reached it from this way. Oops, I don't want to go up there just uh. The piranha plants don't look like yarn, do they not? You cover them with yarn, don't you? Oh, 
Yeah, the shy guys don't really look like yarn either, do they? Oh. Okay, so it just leads down to the same place. I guess there's different ways to get down there. They are yarn though. No, they are made out of yarn. You can see them. Sorry, it's going to be very freezy for a while, most likely, until it, um... Unfortunately, this is very reminiscent of my PS3 ex uh, simulation experience. Not at quite as bad, but the freezing is very... Blur. Let me let me check one thing real quick. Is there is an option between OpenGL and Vulkan? I should try Vulkan. That'll help. The only reason I had turned that off is because um. I wasn't sure if, uh, sometimes, uh, GL shows up in OBS when you have it on GL mode, but then if you have it on Vulcan mode, it doesn't show up. Oh no, it literally, it just happened. Wow, look at that. So yeah, I do have to, I have to use GL. So I guess, I guess that was correct. Sorry. I think Vulcan would technically is more powerful because it's using my graphics card. I don't know what OpenGL is actually utilizing. Sorry. So I have to go back to GL. And now the screen's not coming back. That's cool. Could you maybe come back though anyways? I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I did play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'll, I, okay, I shouldn't have messed with the gra- I shouldn't have tried to... Open graphics library, just an open source graphics. Um... I don't know how to go to graphics library. I don't know where that would be. Man, I shouldn't have messed with it. Oh, OpenGL is Open Graphics Library, okay. God damn it. Does this have save state? Can I just save state and then try to reopen this? Or you know what? Let me, um, damn it. I had the window capture just right. I had to zoom in because I couldn't full screen. Let me, um. game capture doesn't just work that usually is the one that works the most wait 
Oh, what the hell? When did that move? The window capture changed what was weird. Okay. Alright, it we should be good now. over there? Nope, looks like death. Funny how we... There's like 15 out of 20 stamps, but also it's funny how we're collecting all these, uh, gems. Yeah, okay, we got all the yarns. We, we don't have all the flowers, though. Ah, secret formula. Well, once it's compiled more shaders, it should start running better. Man, I missed a flower though. Where the heck? I can't miss a flower in the first freaking level. That's embarrassing. Probably right here. Yep. They thought they could fool me. Oh, I wonder if you time it in this one. It kind of looks like you actually... I missed it anyways. Yeah, you do time it. It doesn't keep going in a circle like Yoshi's Island. If we land on the flower, you, you uh... Probably get a mini game. What? 19 out of 20? I don't even know how to get those stamp things. I was just, they were randomly giving them to me. Wow, what a. That's disappointing. One little point from getting 100% on the first level. I don't even know what. Where are those come from? You got a power badge that lets you skip courses. You get them from the gems? I didn't I didn't get enough gems. We needed Flower Yoshi back together. Yoshi had appeared on Craft Island. Who's Probably Flower Yoshi. But I make a wild guess. It's a very chubby shy guy bouncing around up there. So I assume they want us to go check out the new building. Is the volume okay by the way? Is it too quiet at all? Or is it fine? This happy hut, you can switch your Yoshi or save design color. Oh, mm, I don't really care about that. Sounds good. Okay. I mean, the stamps are labeled very clearly on the world screen, which makes it seems like that's... I don't know, I'm kind of paranoid now after Mario Wonder. Uh, it turned out I needed to get all the flag tops and all the 10 purple coins to get the final level. Wow, you got a big Yarn Yoshi for five bucks, that's cool. I'm gonna clear the course for free. <laughs> Actually, it costs 2,000. Gems. Bounce about wood. Have you ever bounced with the Yoshi in the pale moonlight? Three. 
These guys aren't bouncing at all, they're just laying there. You know the weird thing about the the flowers is that in the original Yoshi's Island, uh, the more flowers you got, it increased your chances of hitting the flower spot because it, the wheel keeps spinning around for a while and then it lands. And it's basically, if you have all the flowers, it increases your chances of landing on one to fifty percent. In this one, you have. Like, you're kind of specifically trying to time it the exact moment you jump through to land on the flower. So having any more than one flower doesn't really seem to increase your chances at all because you are you need to time it on a specific flower anyway, so you would just pick which flower you're landing on. So I feel like it almost kind of defeats the purpose of, like, more flowers increasing your chances. Yoshi definitely has a soft spot for me, because Yoshi's Island is like... Yoshi's Island is some of my first memories. Not just my first gaming memories, but literally my some of my first memories is playing Yoshi's Island. I have a... The, I, I have this old picture of me as a... as a, a tiny baby boy... playing Yoshi's Island. Means less waiting. Yeah, I mean, I didn't mind the uh, the way that it worked. Wait, is that gonna send me off screen? Hang on. These shy guys are very, uh, passive, aren't they? I'm thinking I do want to go back to the left first. Looks like it's going to send me off screen. I wasn't sure if that was going to end the area. Oh, look at that. Never mind. It wasn't going to bounce me off screen after all. The shy guys are peaceful people. I don't know. They they sure are uh, depicted as quite the little trouble make uh, troublemakers in certain uh, some of the other Mario games. Let's not forget the uh, shy guys in Paper Mario. Mushroom Kingdom propaganda. Now, is that a bonus or is that leaving the area? I don't think I've been through a door like that yet. Now, that looks like a bonus door. Don't it? This has a question mark on it. No, that was a checkpoint? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Which one do you guys think I should go through first? I feel like the one on the left was more secretive. But the one on the right has a question mark on it. I really don't know. Okay, good.
I don't know why I did like a more shoe like mm, Come back when you're a little mm, richer Whoa, they're kind of trippy in there. It's all rainbow colors. What? Umbrella Yoshi. Interesting. This almost kind of harkens back to Yoshi's Island as well, because Yoshi in uh, Yoshi's Island, his transformations had him turn into like objects, kind of vehicles really, but they were kind of strange because Mario just gets like, oh, I have fire or... I have a a tail or I have a cape. But Yoshi would like turn into a helicopter or a submarine. <laughs> so this feels like a little bit more in that vein. Oh, it's windy in here. I mean, the game is uh, starting to run better as we go on, I feel like, so that's good. Because uh, once more, more uh, shaders are compiled... That's his version of a 10 coin block. <laughs> Bye, shy guy. He did that to himself, to be fair. Uh oh. The secret door. Blur, 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 blur. There was uh, some free eggs up there I could have gotten. Do you guys think Mario exists in this dimension? Oh, I know someone said there was like a bonus Mario Yoshi you could play as, but I don't know if that's canon. Much like how like the Tofi, Tofi, the Tof, yeah, the Tofi uh, character in um. Resident Evil isn't canon. Or is it? Can't see any of Sword's messages? Yeah, no, I, I didn't know Sword was even here. Kofi? Kofu! Sorry, I'm, I must be out of it still. I didn't, um, I didn't get like the most sleep last night. I could see Sword now. You, you might have to use it might it's a different browser i've had that ha issue happen to me before on uh where messages aren't going through in it and i've had to like switch browsers oh can you not swallow eggs in midair oh you can okay must have already swallowed it. Yeah, sorry, I would have, uh, I would have acknowledged you. It probably wouldn't have helped if you, uh, if you were, like, typing in Japanese, and then you might have just thought I was ignoring the Japanese. Okay, I'm missing one flower. But once again, you, you kind of decide when to jump which flower you're aiming for anyways. So unless you're trying to 100% the game, it doesn't really seem like there's much of a benefit to, to, to having all the flowers. I guess tofu and toffee, uh, something just happened.
What do I think of the game so far? Well, I, I appreciate that they're doing the OG Yoshi's Island style egg throwing, uh, as opposed to like the Yoshi story style, which I don't like so much. But that, that definitely gives the game bonus points. Um, I might have missed the flower like earlier on or something. Let's see. Maybe it's right here. Oh. Oh well, doesn't matter. This is the only Yoshi game that matches the original in quality. That's... that's saying a lot. Man, I... it's gonna take me a while to figure out the timing on that. Once again, 19 out of 20 stamps. I'm guessing the yarn is the most important part anyways. Free top Yoshi. Yeah, the authentic Wii U sim. I mean, it was actually kind of, it was, it was actually being a lot more sluggish earlier on, but I think as more shaders are being compiled, it's starting to run better and better. Until we encounter some new shaders <laughs> and then we'll see what happens. Make all yarn balls big, wow. Sponge cave spelunking. Did you hear that, Squidward? We're going spelunking. I don't want to. Pump rock, oh, okay. I didn't realize that's what that was, because it's not made of rock anymore. Use the chugginess, it should dissipate over time. I don't have any eggs. I guess the pipe leaves the area. I hope I wasn't supposed to use the chomp rock to destroy those. Damn it, I probably was. I th I, I expected to get some eggs. Those are some strong words, Sword. There may be other people who have Wind Wakers like their favorite game that may believe that the GameCube version might be the best version in their opinion. Damn it. Let's see, maybe we could go back up the pipe. And then we'll we can bring an egg back. No, okay, so we have to restart the level. <laughs> That's kind of sneaky. We didn't know that we were not gonna have eggs. And then they literally trap the boulder so you can't bring it back.
Um, you think visually it's a toss-up between the two? Uh, I think a certain banana also was of the opinion that he very much uh, uh, preferred the original soundtrack to the HD version soundtrack. That's something you'd have to talk with him about, though. He, he, he knows that stuff a lot more than me. It's so weird that Yoshi just becomes a block. <laughs> Looked more like he was turning into like a like a cylinder from the here, but in that little example thing, it looked like a block. I mean, I, I agree that the quality of life stuff is cool, although we wasted a lot of time getting the super sale in when we played through the HD version because it's kind of convoluted how you even get it. And pr I, I, anyone who's not looking it up probably won't even know how to get it or that it's a thing you can get. Which is kind of weird because that's like one of the better parts of the HD remake is the fact that that exists. It's not like it's literally having you skip things, it's just nice to have that little extra boost. Oh, these little guys are back. Cool. You don't you don't just get it at the auction house though. Go watch our, our go watch our playthrough of it. The auction house randomly puts up a different thing for auction and you don't you might not even ever see the uh supercell if you don't already know that it's in the game and where it's supposed to be. We we went there over and over, we kept reloading it, like not reloading, just like coming back to the area like over and over and over and over and over again. It took us a long time for it to even pop up. Even, um, even Mike didn't realize that it was, like, that he thought it was, like, oh, I thought this was going to be a lot, like, more straightforward. Oh, I don't have any eggs. Or else I can't. Okay, you gotta wait till these hit the ground. Or else if you eat these when they're fuzzy, Yoshi will just lick his lips and it won't turn into an egg. Oh, there's an egg maker right over there anyways. Funny. Uh... You still need to change the wind direction to, ma to match where you're going with the swift cell. It just happens to give you a little boost. What I remember. There we go. Like, I don't even remember the boost being like extremely apparent it's just like it's like oh i'm going a little faster the whole thing the swift cell does is automatically always put the wind perfectly your back oh i thought it was just i don't know maybe it's because mike was the one playing through that one Maybe I never actually had it, like, explicitly explained to me. Nice, those gems come down there, which have you go in that specific spot, which is where there happens. 
a little cloudy cloud. So that looks like the progression point. So let's go up here first. Yoshi sounds so like little, like young in this. It sounds like a child Yoshi. He's going like. I have not played Spirit Hourglass or Phantom Tracks, no. You you guys have seen every 2D Zelda that I played basically, except the original NES Zelda. And Zelda 2, though I never went through the whole game. I want to do the uh, original NES Zelda. I guess that's a game we'll have to do sometime this year because I haven't played that in a long time. And somehow that seems to be my favorite 2D Zelda so far, which is so weird because I definitely had problems with it. And I kept looking forward to playing the other 2D Zelda because like, I can't wait to play, like, I can't wait to have all these problems fixed. And so like, it's like, I'll just be a 2D Zelda that I actually really like. And it's, it's not happened for me yet. <laughs> because it's just a much smaller game. It's just much more smaller and straightforward. It's stupid that you have to like, do many, do so many like, oh, bomb all these walls to check them and burn all these bushes to check them until you know what's what. That's really dumb. But the game itself is so small that it's just, you get through it a lot more quickly that it's not as much of a lingering like frustration. It's not, yeah, it's not a bad game. It just has problems. For one thing, the combat's also more limited because you have a, uh, you can only aim in four directions. The ricochet. Guy. I don't think Zelda 2 is bad either. I think Zelda 2 is actually pretty cool too. It's just another one. I The only reason I, I never finished it is because I got lost. I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do next. And that's already a problem the first game had. It, it, it's a little easier to brute force your way to finding out where things are because the game is small enough you can do that. But it's still annoying that you have to. But Zelda 2 is a little bit larger in scope. So it is it is harder to like... It's e it's it's easier to get stuck uh, in indefinitely. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I thought he would drop like eggs or something. But I actually thought the combat and the concept of Zelda 2 was was neat. In that, I, I mean, a, a dumb thing about Zelda 2, it's like the first or second dungeon is like the hardest dungeon in the game, Death Mountain. They just throw you into like one of like the hardest dungeon in the game, like right near the start. And I got through it. I remember getting past that part. So yeah, that's dumb that they do that. Oops, hang on, we want you back here. But hey, I had uh, just as bad, if not worse, problems in Link's Awakening, where the only reason why I even finished the game was because it was like a, suggest a suggestion, and I was like trying to really put effort into it and uh, wrapping it up. If I had been playing Zelda 2 on stream, I was suggesting, I'm sure it would have. You know, the only game you ever play with Zelda 2, you wouldn't need to play any other game. It's a perfect game. Well, there, there's, there, you see, utility has his own opinion, and you all have to respect it. There must be another way to get up there. I was hoping the egg would like curve. It would go like follow the curve there.
Uh, Zelda 2 is the only one in the series I felt I had to use save states if I wanted to beat it without losing my mind. And that's very possible I might feel the same way. I, I, but the main thing for me, I just remember... I just remember getting lost and not knowing what to do. That was the main thing for me. Which for me can really kill a game. And it's too bad if it's a game that I'm genuinely interested in too. If it's a game I'm already not super interested in, or it's just not stimulating me very much, then that's kind of like the nail in the coffin. It's like, okay, I'm already not super interested, and now I'm lost. <laughs> really, I, I we shouldn't be quiet because uh, I, I'm on the same levels I'm usually at. The game is maybe a little more quiet than... Like, as a game itself, I think it's on the lower end of the volume spectrum but I was told it's okay it might just be on your end one of my gaming pipe dreams is way forward getting to remake Zelda 2 since the Shantae series is kind of a mechanical successor to Zelda there can be joy in getting lost in some games so Futility you think that this is also a more quiet stream than usual are you sure According to OBS, it, it looks normal. The only thing is the game is maybe a little more quiet, which I can I can boost if need be. Just let me know. Here, I'll boost my voice a little and All right, and I boosted the game a tiny little bit too as well, so I don't know. I don't want to go too much because I try to have things at kind of a consistent level. Also good for like editing and stuff. So it is a little more quiet than usual. Interesting. Hmm. I like it when it... Be the f it wouldn't be the first time that my microphone decided to change sensitivity, which it does sometimes. But I feel like... Okay, I turned both of them up even a little bit more. It definitely shouldn't be a situation where you're at max and it's still quiet. That's too quiet. I just noticed you you only hold six eggs at a time. Don't you hold seven eggs at a time in um Fishy's Island? Am I remember that correctly? It might be six. I could be misremembering. Maybe it is six. I like how they were like kind of loaded in, but the environment wasn't. Yeah, it's a charming art style. It looks pretty. I don't know that for me personally, that the gameplay and level design is like stellar. Um, I guess Yoshi's own gameplay level design wasn't, it was good. It was, it was, it was still quite good. Man, the, the perspective. What? I missed it. Okay. Oh, I got it! Maybe we'll finally get a little mini game here. Okay, it is six. Got you. <clears throat> I I still recommend everyone use a uh, volume equalization, which should be a a um which should be a uh, options in your sound. So you would go to sounds. Sorry, you would right click your little speaker, go to sounds, 
go to playback, pick whatever it is that you're using as your, your speakers or your listening device, go to enhancements. And then on that list, if you go down, there should be a loudness equalization. It works really, really like it makes quiet things like two quiet things much louder so that it's like you can actually hear it but it doesn't make really loud things like super loud like it, it um it raises like the bottom end without raising the top end although your normal volume will now be louder a little bit louder than normal um but that's i mean it's it's generally like better that way uh when I'm editing, I turn it off because I know most people don't use loudness equalization. So I try to edit my reviews to uh, to more match what most people are probably going to hear the loudness levels at. But I, I would really recommend everyone use loudness equalization. Once in a while, uh, I, someone will have a computer that doesn't have lo loudness equalization. I don't know why. Uh, so unfortunately that sometimes happens. That's cool, we're apples and kiwis and lemons and oranges and oh, watermelons. Oh, I'm not gonna get it, but. Damn, kind of harsh. For bonus stage, like you have to really be like top efficient there. You collect 50 stamp patches, earning you new stamps. Congrats. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that the, that the levels are bad. I'm just saying it's very rudimentary at the moment. Really? You don't see that option? That's that's too bad, Fack. I, I think it's really, it is good. I always, ever since I've, I like, found out about it, I always use it because it just... Some things are just too quiet, and it uh, it makes those things that are too quiet actually you can hear them, but then it doesn't make things too loud. It's really really cool. We got Circus Yoshi. Yoshi invented watermelon. Is that our first castle? I didn't even read that. My eyes glazed over. Big Montgomery Montgomery's Fort. Yo, are they talking about Monty Mole? Are we gonna fight a big Monty Mole? Change which uh, Yoshi you're playing periodically. They should just change them automatically. New environment means new shaders. <laughs> Whoa. Weird. Not super impressed by the castle music yet, but it's still better than uh, Yoshi's Island DS's castle music. It's weird you hit those, but then it just... You'd think something would come out of it instead of just kind of a couple pieces of yarn go flying. The boss music is going to be very important here. Although I, I'm recognizing that the music in this game is going for a more stripped down uh, type of... Thing, so I, I will keep that in mind. If anything has to be better than Yoshi's Island DS's music, that freaking soundtrack and that is just... Oh, those were... Those were Monty Moles the whole time, I just never let one come out. Also, I just started taking damage for the first time. Does Yoshi have a health bar in this game? So that's what that was that whole time. The base was cool. I, I I did notice that slap base. 
Are you saying you don't have fun simply interacting with the game world? What do you mean? You mean the- oh, when I was sl slamming the Montgomery moles that were down there? I was just trying to figure out what they were. Like, I didn't even realize that they were enemies at first. I thought maybe there were just things you hit and then something happens. It does feel like the music's building up as we go through. So it could be that it, it gets more intense as we get closer to the big bad. What is that up there? Oh! Oh no! Damn it, I thought that was a platform, like a normal platform. Where this is the only first party Nintendo game that never got a Switch port? A first party Wii U game that never got a Switch port? Hey, do we need to grab that guy again? Yeah. I wonder if you could eat these guys and spit fire. Nope, okay. Making sure. Whoops! Why did I do that? I didn't realize it would bounce me that high. <laughs> Technically second party since Goodfill isn't owned by Nintendo. Yeah, but I, f I feel like you consider that more of almost like a, uh, a Like a first party commission? No? Oh no, that is what second party is, isn't it? Second party is when a company, another company outside of the main company like provides a product The game like exclusively for that, right? That's what second party means. I haven't heard that term in so long. Like, Rare was basically a second party company for Nintendo, right? When they used to... When they used to be. Back in the day. That's still really wild to me that Nintendo gave Rare up like that. And it was such... Such a loss. Such a shame. And then everything... Like, almost everything Rare did after that, which ended up, like, not even being the original Rare at a certain point. It just never... it was just never the same. Realize how, like, far down you can go without falling off. Um, in fairness, they didn't give her up. They got hundreds of millions of goose. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like, I get it, you know, go where the money is, I guess. But even Rare apparently didn't end up liking the situation since most of the members left. After like the first, I don't know, game or two. I don't even know if some of them left before they did their first game after being acquired by Microsoft. But I don't know. I got this feeling that Nintendo didn't mind losing Rare because... I've always heard stories about like the, the rare like meeting Nintendo and Nintendo didn't really like them. <laughs> like there was kind of a culture clash between them, I feel like. 
Maybe not just culture class, maybe clash maybe on top of that, just rares kind of they're kind of a little little rambunctious. Uh and then you know them doing stuff like Conquer's Bad Fur Day, which Nintendo did not like. They like really did not care for that and tried their darn darndest to not really advertise it. I don't know how it you know went through like to the point where it got made but it's apparently grabbed by the ghoulies i'd like to try grab by the ghoulies one day that was the first thing they did after uh microsoft took them in right even if it's not that great of a game i still would be interested in um how do you swap eggs without throwing them oh you just start throwing them and put them away huh first... there we go i don't know i thought maybe the big Darn would break that, but I just wanted to check. Starvox Adventures probably burned a lot of goodwill. Didn't a lot of prominent rare staff leave even before the acquisition? That's what I was thinking right now. Like, I, I know a lot of them left pretty early on, and by not that many games in, they were pretty much a completely different company. Like right now, that it's rare isn't even rare. Oh, Conquer wasn't published by Nintendo. Ah. So they're like, okay, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna have to publish your own game. Conquer was also one of the very, very like, uh, minuscule amount of N64 games that used like the largest possible. I knew there was going to be something down here. It uses the largest uh, N64 um, cartridge in terms of like how much data it can hold. I forget what the number was exactly, but it was like it was the largest one possible that they had. And there was very few games that used it. The only ones off the top of my head that I know used it for sure was Conquerors and Resident Evil 2. Which Resident Evil 2 is like a freaking... It's crazy that that even... They were even able to do that on the N64 to the extent that they did. Like, there's still freaking cutscenes on there. Uh, I want to do Conker's Bad Fur Day at some point. I'm, I I really want to play it off of the actual game cartridge because I have it. Because that's one of those really hard to come by games and I just, I don't know, it just would feel extra special if I can actually play it instead of emulating it. Because not a lot of people are able to do that because it's, you know, it's a hard to come by game. It's a rare game. <laughs> In two ways. But I have to make sure I can actually stream N64 games in like good qual or decent quality. Uh, basically the same way that I do GameCube Wii games, which like the converter I, that I use for that's like like quite works quite well. I need to. For some reason, it's hard to find good converters for old consoles for not like a, like a ridiculous amount of money. But I know they're out there. Um, is Sea of Thieves rare? I didn't even know that. Conquer does not have a Japanese release. Oof. Is that you, Yoshi baby? You can chase me, but you're not getting the yarn back. Say hello to Big Montgomery and say goodbye to your chances of winning. Oh, he doesn't look that big. I don't know what you're talking about. Here we go, boss music time. He actually didn't get that big. <laughs> I would call him, like, fairly large Montgomery. Am I not supposed to hit him in the X marks the spot? Maybe I gotta hit him in the head. Maybe I just jump on him. I mean, what if I didn't have eggs, right? There we go. Oh my gosh. Violence. Can't be throwing spikes.
Hey, happy New Year's, Kiko. Fun fact, every uh, year, Kiko uh, leads the, the some of the floats in the Rose Bowl, uh, the ro Rose, what is it called? Is it the Macy's ro Rose Parade? Whatever the heck that parade is called that they do in uh, LA. In Japan, it was actually called Omo Hiroi Questo no Kankas. So there's quest in there. Omo Hiroi. Omo Hiroi. What does that mean? What's that one? What's that word? I got a new power badge. <laughs> Just the float of you naked, and then you're also in front of the float leading it. That's chill. Oh, we got the hot cocoa, Yoshi. Heck yeah. We unlocked a windmill. Oh, it means interesting or funny. Wait, didn't you say that to me earlier, like in the in Discord? Didn't you use that same word? Oops. Fall into a pit, no problem. But I don't understand what it does. Please explain to me further. I get it. if you fall into a pit, it saves you. I'm guessing. How was Walter with the fireworks? Um, nitty naughty windmill hill. I honestly think Walter's kind of used to them by now, where it kind of becomes background noise until it gets like really crazy. But actually, I wasn't here last night when they were like really going off. I was uh actually was chilling with Mike. And another friend of ours. They're having a wild time. So I actually uh I wasn't here. But he's probably he's probably okay as long as he has someone to chill with on his bed, then he's fine. Leaders compile. Did the steel guitar, <laughs> the lap steel guitar. I like it. I wouldn't. I didn't expect to like hear that in a, in a Yoshi game, but here we are. Holy crap. Oh, it's one of the egg spinning flowers. That make, like, lots of farting noises in the DS version for some reason. Did I, did I, um, at the end of my, uh, stream of the DS version of Yoshi's Island, I remember I found an IGN review that gave the game like an 8.5 out of 10 or something and I was reading it and like it was just saying the most BS things like <clears throat> like all the things that the game had problems with it was like everything's good I think it even said like it basically carries the music over from the original Yoshi's Island what are you talking about that's like it's, it uses like stock music instead of the classic Yoshi's Island music. If they just used the original Yoshi's Island music but it was like really compressed, that would have been better than what they did. That was Miyamoto's cousin from Alabama on the steel guitar. Ah, from Nashville.
Pika, what if you got an offer from like a a, a, a top uh, country music artist to, to fly down to Nashville and produce their uh, album for them? Would you do it? Now the only catch is you don't know who it is. Their manager says, my client would like to keep their identity a secret for now. So you, you won't know until you get there. You do it? You like country now? Did you listen to the 12 Golden Country Greats by uh, Ween and it made you love country? I know. I know that feeling. You know, the ghosts... They're not a ghost, they're gusts. Gusts of wind. I used to think they were ghosts when I was little. And then I learned how to read. I learned they were gusts. It's Joe Biden. Is Joe Biden from Na from Nashville? What are people wrong about this time? Uh, so many things, you know? So many things. Oh, I see. Well, goodbye, Piranha Plant. Yeah, the freaking, the review, the 8.5 review of Yoshi's Island DS, which is just like, disgusting, like, I can't, like, the corruption, it's the only explanation, the uh, developers must have paid them off. The weird thing is, the devs who did Yoshi's Island DS are kind of like these, like, they are kind of like, uh... <sighs> I'm trying to put this nicely. Their, their game catalog isn't very impressive. It, it looks kind of like a bunch of shovelware stuff, if I remember correctly. Which begs the question, why did Nintendo give one of their most beloved IPs and video games in general to, th to this dev team? Do they just want to pay someone five dollars to make a Yoshi's Island sequel, or what? I underestimate how uh, some people simply have really bad opinions. I mean... I guess, I guess that could just be it, but... I like to think the best of people, you know, that they're just corrupt and that they're not that... That far gone. Oh! Holy crap. Piranha Plant almost got me. You always gotta check corners. I learned that from Yoshi's Island. It must have been super profitable for them to use a third-party company and pay them pennies. Honestly, I think that's just what it is. That's what happened. The weird thing is, though, I just don't get, like, why they didn't at least, like, give them the resources of, like, the original Yoshi's Island soundtrack and then just have them use that uh, for the music. Since... The music in the, uh, the, the music they decided to use is awful, so generic and bad. It's like, just give me the compressed versions of the original songs. That would have been better. Even though that's extremely lazy, that would have been better than what they, what they did do.
Hell yeah. Uh, Good Feel, who developed this in Kirby's Epic Yarn, actually just came out with a new game recently. Unfortunately, only a Japan release. Oh, really? Well, at least, I mean, the Switch is uh, region free, right? Unless it's not a Switch game. Um, so, it should technically be playable, yeah? I don't know why I thought that would reveal something. Um, as long as it's a game that's more gameplay focused than like, if there's not like a lot of reading. Uh, what's it called? What is the name of this mysterious game? Does it also involve yarn? It seems like this company is a little obsessed with yarn, I have to say. I knew he was covering something up. Whoa. Do I... I don't hit it. Do I just follow it? Yeah, the music's really chill in this game, for sure. This is a nice game you could just relax to. There's even like a relaxed mode, a chill mode, an easy breezy mode, if you feel so inclined. Oh no, I missed the second yarn, I just noticed. That's my first yarn I've ever missed. Oh well, too late now. Hopefully you don't need to get all the yarns to get the real final level or whatever. It doesn't seem like that kind of game to do that though. You probably just unlock something extra. I knew you were gonna give the Japanese name. Otogi Katsugeki Mamera no Bakeru, uh, Bakeru. Oracle Saitoro no Sainan. Why did they name it like those modern day like anime slash manga where they just give you the whole synopsis in the title, which I hate that, by the way. It feels just, like... It just feels, like, artistically, like, really, like, really lame. Like, they're so focused on just, like, oh, we want to sell this. It's like the equivalent of clickbait on a, on a, like, a title of a show. Oh, I missed it. Hey, we got it. Now we won't get Ferris Will Yoshi. <clears throat> well, you could always translate the name to English. That's what they used to do back in my day. It started in light novels, which is extremely saturated. They want you to notice it on the shelf, whatever it takes. Yeah, I get that. I get the business reason behind it. I just don't respect it creatively and artistically. I'm sorry. Oh, you can use eggs. Sweet. You have to use eggs, actually, because you can't reach them otherwise, it looks like. Oh. No, I suck at these. I think there's a tasteful way to do clickbait. Speaking of clickbait, like there's definitely clickbait that's worse than others. I've seen ones where it's literally the same exact reaction face from the creator, copy pasted over and over and over again on hundreds of videos. That to me is like, come on, put in a little more effort. If you're gonna do a, a, a like a silly reaction facing, at least do a new one for each video. It's not, come on. That is the bare minimum you should be able to do. <sighs> yeah, they made the bonus, <laughs> the bonus levels in this are like surprisingly uh, strict. Shy, but deadly. 
Dude, do we get to fight like a giant shy guy at one point? That'd be cool. Oh, they're throwing bombs now? Can I make a bomb? No, I can't. But I could spit it out. Aha! Holy crap, that shy guy went flying. They could destroy like wood. He blew his own friends up. And now I will blow him up in turn. <laughs> Goodbye, shy guys. So long, shy guys. I don't know why the shaders are loading extra hard right now. Maybe like new backgrounds or something. Goodbye. Holy crap. They all got crushed. Oh, it's the front flipping shy guys. Those guys are the best. How about the long guys? Remember the long shy guys? What was that all about? Oh, I didn't get any bombs to blow up the wall to the left. Oh, hang on. That speaks up too soon. No! Okay, it blew it up anyways. Exiled in a class trial for poor dexterity because he was dexterous. He lived on his own because of his dexterity. He was able to use all the skills and magic are making him invincible. I decided to live on my own, but the people around me wouldn't leave me alone. You you know what it sounds like? You know what those freaking um uh what those some of those titles sound like? Ah, oh, what's her name? There's this uh, old famous lesbian uh book writer from like 60 years ago man i wish i could remember her name off the top of my head but she had like the weirdest like they had the, she had like the most bizarre writing style where she would like repeat the same thing over and over again uh a lot of People actually didn't think she wrote very well, and but she was really famous. It was almost like she was more successful as a personality or like a cult, you know, like a cult of personality type thing than for her actual writing. Um, I don't know who Anne Brand is. I'm trying to remember. Oh, is it Jane Steinbeck? Is that her name? Sorry, I need to check real quick. It's going to drive me crazy. <clears throat> no, that's not. That's not the name. I think I showed Fack an example of this years ago. Maybe not years ago, but like maybe like a year ago. I sent, I sent to him. Uh... What? What's... Gertrude Stein. Her name was Gertrude Stein. It must be great to be me sometimes? Why? Uh... Yeah, Gertrude Stein, but... One of her, like, examples that I, I showed fact because I was reading it in class. Uh, it was like... See, I don't even want to just make it up because, like, just reading the actual thing. Fack, go to our DMs and Discord and look up Gertrude Stein and it should... You'll see, like, I'm pretty sure I sent it to you a long time ago. 
You'll see what I'm talking about. But there's this funny, uh, like, poem she has where she repeats basically, like, we were gay over and over again, but it was back where, like, the word gay wasn't synonymous with homosexuality. It was still uh, used more to, to say joyous. But the whole poem, she's just like, so we were gay and we were really gay. We did this and we were gay. Like, so it just repeats over and over and over again. And it's really funny in retrospect to be like, I think she's literally just saying we're lesbians. But like back then, it wasn't clear that that's what she was saying. Anyways, we're mega Yoshi, apparently. When did that happen? How did this happen? What is what is going on? Holy crap. This is devastating. How can they... They don't stand a chance at this point. Yeah, Miss Fur and Miss Keen. Um. What what could she have meant by that? I don't know. It's a mystery fact. <laughs> Did I let one shy guy live? That's funny. That wasn't. That just happened. That just coincidentally happened because I was uh, also focusing on the chat. Whoops. We'll never get over that a word for happy be became meaning you're homosexual. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how that happened, and then um, at a certain point, there was a turn where where people, usually younger people, because even I remember this from when I was younger, they would use the term gay in a negative way, and it didn't, it wasn't even relating to sexuality either. It was like, like saying like all oh, man basically, like oh the teacher gave us homework today, that's gay. Which is like, you know, obviously unfortunate because that's not, you know, it's not the best thing to make that a negative word when that, what it, what it means, you know. But there was a point where a lot of people, that's, they, they used that, um, holy cow, those are big bombs. And I'm, 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 uh. I'm glad that I don't see it as, uh, as much anymore, but also I don't know if that's just because I don't hang around like youths today. I feel like youths today don't really use that phrase so much anymore. I feel like they use other things. But I guess I'm not really, I don't really keep up with all the current slang, so I don't know. Um, I think it happened because of how we will sometimes say stuff like fruity or flamboyant. I still just call things gay because of childhood. Definitely phased out a lot. Yeah, it, yeah, it seems like it seems like it has, and it was around for a long time too. Because I think even like generation or two behind me, where that's also a word that they would use sometimes for that, or maybe just one generation behind me. I don't know. Feels like it, it was around for a while. I got down. I got through there just in time. I, I realized what they were trying to do. Let's see, I know my Yoshi's Island. I might have wanted that bomb for something though, huh? I like how the bombs can't go off when they're in Yoshi's mouth. They should have called it Shylent but Deadly instead of Silent but Deadly. Am I right? Everyone, let's write to Nintendo and tell them how we really feel. 
I know how we're all in unanimous agreement about this. Definitely think it's somewhat looped around and been reclaimed. For LGBTQ folks call things gay as a positive connotation. We should start calling things J. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could probably guess my my name rhyming with that was maybe not the best thing when that was a common negatively connotated word. one of the worst things when your name just rhymes with something that's like way too easy. It's like, oh no. <laughs> well. Flowers hitting almost is in the same time as the music, but it's a little off, so it keeps throwing me off. Like they sync back up. Oh, we got it. The white yarn looks like sandbag from Smash. It did look like that, didn't it? I think I missed one yarn again, though, unfortunately, but. I didn't get all the stamps that time, but I missed a yarn. What the heck? Oh. No, man, these are tough. I'll try to switch Yoshi's. I wish I didn't have to run all the way down to the Yoshi switching with switching chamber, but since you reminded me, we'll we'll go do that real quick. I'm still in world one. Jeez, how many worlds does this game have? Are, is there like less worlds than normal? For these words, we're still in world one, and it's been freaking an hour or forty minutes. That's a long world one for a Mario slash Yoshi game. And also, which Yoshi should I switch to? Hot chocolate, maybe? Hot cocoa. Uh, oh, I could see from here how many lo uh, more levels there are, can't I? Oh, like, I don't know what those are gonna be. Get out of here. They don't want us to look too far ahead. But I assume each one of these is a world, so that's two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's six. Jeez, man. Okay, so I guess we have two more levels in World 1 to do. I did not expect this game to be this, like, long. Might just wrap up after World 1 tonight because I'm a little tired. I thought I was going to do like two worlds. I, I didn't expect them to. I thought maybe like each world would be like an hour at the most. But that's fine. We'll be able to play more. Power up ground pound. Wait, did I switch my Yoshi? Or did I forget to? Claw Daddy Beach. I might have got distracted trying to figure out... Oh, I guess I forgot to. Oh well. 
That so guy's just chilling by the shade, minding their own business. This one's soaking up the sun. Oh, it's the crab! But it's like a purse now. These guys take like three hits to kill, if I remember correctly. They're quite, they're quite tough. Yeah. Oh, oh, not anymore. Probably for the best. That was kind of crazy that they took so many hits in the or Yoshi's Island to begin with. They took three hits and then they had like a, a, a period of invincibility after each hit as well. Like damn, Nintendo. Oh yeah, so how was everyone's uh, New Year's Eve? Did anyone do anything? Special. Actually, if you just jump on them, it is three hits. That's interesting. Did anyone just have a nice chill time? Oh, you could still skip the the eggs on the water, like Yoshi's Island. Heck yeah! I hope they have a boss that like utilizes that. Anyway. To a Laotian restaurant for dinner. Oh, cool. I don't think I've ever been to a Laotian restaurant. Yeah, skipping those eggs. So satisfying. Kind of dishes that oh my god we're we're moto yoshi defy enemies and gravity holy crap oh what the heck that's cool They really like that lap steel guitar in this game. I can respect it. When do you ever hear that in a Mario game? The coconut red curry soup. Sounds good. I'd try it. Here's a little a tip for you Yoshi players out there. Uh, you can only have six eggs at a time technically, but you can always hold a seventh enemy in your mouth. Whoa. Oh, the watermelon came back. We can spit the watermelon seed.
Maybe I want to take these guys out. Nope, apparently not. Has pork, ground sliced meatball, peanut. Wow, three kinds. It should be called three pork soup. Peanuts, basil, mint, bean sprouts, noodles, scallion. I'm gonna have to snack on something before I go to the go to bed tonight. For me, I missed the first yarn. They start getting pretty sneaky. gun these guys. So satisfying to hit like a cloud with the uh, watermelons. these guys out because they actually do drop stuff. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I could just do that. Oh no! I don't have any eggs now. I goofed. That might be like the Oh, hang on! More watermelons. Yeah, you know how watermelons grow from the watermelon trees? From the, uh, very, uh, palm tree looking watermelon trees? Oh, crabs have a purse when you strip them for meat. Oh, okay. You know, the levels probably would go faster if I wasn't, like, actually looking for stuff as well. Um, so that's probably another reason why it's taking me long to get through the first. So brutal with these. One another castle, I'm guessing the big boss. Usually the mini boss and then the big boss. What the heck? Stamp town. Stamp stadium. What is this? Oh, Bert the Bashful. No, no kidding, huh? He's back. to avert your eyes during this battle if he works the same way he did at Yoshi's Island. Yahoo! 
like a, a yarn ball pendulum. Definitely plenty of things to collect in this game. Ah, oh, the little Sundays. They're supposed to look like little Sundays, right? That's what I always thought. They're like ice creams and bowls. I guess their noses would be like the cherries. That's sure the little, uh, as you w run across like the little platforms. Oh man, this, this music's getting real. I need a bomb for that. Key for that door. Hey, double or happy new year. a new game uh for me it is but technically no i think it's like 10 years old now at this point holy crap we skipped two flowers you're even up oh yeah hmm they're called dunbury oh really are you sure? I, I'm telling you, those are Sunday boys. Bamburi. Because I know that's like the like the rice bowls. killed the one that was over here damn it that was an accident okay let's reset the room <laughs> the zipper sound ah. surprised it didn't reset the room completely just uh, brought back the missing enemy Here, I believe. Hell yeah. What I'm talking about. That's why Yoshi's Island is the go. Let's see what the big boss music sounds like. Oh, okay. Oh, 
I saw something. It was an illusion. I guess it really was worth going back for that. Not that I've really been using these, but maybe at some point I will. Notice. Some of the bass notes uh, in this feel almost like a bit of a callback to the underground music in uh, Mario World. Oops. I'll use them when I share a post on the Miiverse. Oh, there we go. That's when I'll use them. Whoops, I forgot I already had one in my mouth. I think Yoshi frequently forgets that he currently has uh, another living creature in his, his gob. This happens so often, you know, he just kind of Sometimes he just forgets. I feel like those shadows are actually there in the background. Holy crap. Oh no! It's up at the end there, but that's fine. Oh, boss door! Here we go. Here we go! Hear it. Yoshi sure are persistent, I assume they'd have all run home by now. Fine, bird, hitch up your pants and go bust up that Yoshi. As I clip through you. Ugh. There he is, good old Bert. Well, I just sure hope his pants don't fall down. That would... Uh... Wait, what do I do now? The heck? Okay. Oh. Uh. Because he had a string on his pants. Whoa, this is different. I didn't mean to do that. No, I did it again. Sorry, Bert. And that's why he's Bert the Bashful. But on an un unorthodox way to defeat a boss, but uh... Yeah, that was some pretty jamming music. Yeah, it's not quite as like sinister or like... Like... Uh, what would you say, like, uh, intense as Yoshi's Island's boss music? But, it, you know, it's 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 going for its own mood. Now he's birthed the deceased. He sure is. Got a new power badge. That's squealing. I never knew that Kamek sounded like that. I just heard wah, 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 wah. We unveiled a new table. Can you change the Yoshi like when you're in another world or do you have to like walk all the way back? Oh look, only 34 out of 40 for whatever this is. Oh, you're gonna hold down the jump button to run. Where is the uh, second world at? I was probably gonna wrap up just because I started kind of late. I'm a little tired, but uh, normally I would try to do two worlds. 
Let me let me switch the Yoshi right now so I don't forget to do it later. That's not the right place. Bertha buried. There it is. Oh, okay, so this is the hub anyways, gotcha. We're not just getting farther and farther away from the place I would say. I'm not gonna unlock another Yoshi's type at this rate. You're looking up if you get more levels from getting all the collectibles so I know early on. Yeah, I mean, at this point I'd have to redo like more than half of the levels I've done already and it's barely world one. This is world two, I guess. Maybe we'll do one more level since there are people here still. Just one more and then we'll wrap up. We'll get a little head start. Oh, you can eat watermelon. My favorite. Well, it depends on how easy it is to find the ones I didn't find before. Keep in mind, I was already looking for them the first time. I wasn't just trying... I haven't been rushing through these levels at all. I, I've actively been looking for the stuff. I've just been missing a, a lot of them. I haven't 100 percented a level since the first four levels. So hopefully we don't need to... Or else that might... Might be a bit of a problem. Now they're using a freaking slide guitar. They really like their sliding string instrument in this. Hiding something, huh? There were. get a level for all the flowers oof now we haven't missed the flowers in every level but i have missed them in some levels i think i've more often missed all the yarn i'll have to go back and look so it would at least be the the lesser of the of the difficult ones to collect if i had to go back So the yarns are just for new Yoshis, gotcha, that makes sense. You have to beat every level with max health. If you won 100%, but that's just a star on your- oh yeah, that doesn't matter to me. It's more so if I'm missing, like, significant content. Oh, it's one of the little spiky boys, they're here this early? I knew it. Just get them Yoshi vibes and you know it. 
out of eggs now, though. That's nice. There may be a post-game boss rush. Uh, oh wait, that is the egg thing. I'm dumb. I'm like, I don't have any eggs. How am I supposed to hit the thing on top of the egg dispenser? you get that. Maybe hitting these will reveal something. Okay. Ah. Oh yeah, you could do this too. I just make them back off with people. The bottom one's good, the more secret one. Let me check this corner real quick. Do I love boss rushes? Ah, uh, it depends. Mega Man's boss rushes are usually pretty cool because they're like... You get to show off all the stuff you've learned at that point. Like, you now have all the weaknesses. Uh... You've at least beaten all the bosses, so you, you have a, a good idea, better idea of how to fight them. It's a very satisfying, like the way Mega Man does it, but it's still challenging at the same time. More so in some of the games than others. That looks destructible. I need a bomb. In certain games, I don't really bother, though. It, de it depends. Oh, they, they're rematches, so they get me moves. That, that would definitely be interesting that was one thing i really liked about um the wii punch out game is that you get to refight all the boxers but they have new like defenses that you have to try to figure out how to get through i thought that was cool i feel like i'm missing something oh well i already missed a yarn but if the flowers are the important part This is the screen where we got the fourth yarn, so it might be the screen where we get the fourth flower, too. I'm gonna try to be a little careful here. It's on top of the egg. Spence. Something involving the switch that I. Hmm. Oh, maybe you just. Oh, you can't fit under here without the switch. That's what. The... Are you excited to do the boss rush in Skyward Sword one and two third times? a flower I looked all over the dang place if not that's gonna be an example of how me having to go back to get them all could potentially take a very long time because I just don't know where they are <laughs> Thank you. 
kind of hit like different spots where like spawn a cloud or something. You can always use this game website that I heard Fak has. Fak has his own game website? No way. If this is the fourth flower, then we're in good shape. Yep, okay, cool. Fak games. <laughs> that sounds a little familiar. Even a little familiar, even. Oh. Secret music, room music reminds you of uh, Zelda. Got all the stamps. Get the last flower. It's got to be somewhere on this screen, on this uh, area. Be on top of this. as far as I can no I mean that's what I'm doing I'm looking for the invisible clouds I just <clears throat> I just got the fourth one inside of this pipe right wasn't it inside of this pipe so it has to be beyond this point somewhere. The only thing that would make sense is a uh, invisible cloud. I just don't know where it is. Usually they're like in corners, or they're maybe they're like down low. Okay. So. Yeah, this is 2 1. I'm not finding it. Oh, what? I jumped. Okay, there it is. I checked between each pipe. I must have, like, just somehow not hit the right pixel spot. It's almost like Dongo back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know. Oh, this game. Oh, this is new. Oh, gosh. Well. Why even get the watermelon? It's not mandatory to progress. Oh my god, I suck at these. Oh well. Alright, um... 
I think I'm gonna wrap up now just because all right but I, well obviously we're gonna play through this I'll try to do more than one world next time everything's free okay like a little OP but but all right um I hope you all have a good start to your new year happy new year have a great night